Summertime's here, and today we are gonna be roasting up on this beautiful Masterbelt 1050 using our rotisserie attachment, a whole chicken. Let's get started. In the kitchen we have our whole chicken here we got it from Publix it's about a three pound bird we're gonna be using two simple rubs we got the dirty bird hot and we have the beer can chicken we're gonna be getting some of that under the skin we're gonna be putting some of that on top of the skin as well and we're also gonna be making a butter glaze kind of to put it on the inside of the skin so that we can get some nice color and flavor inside the chicken as well as that crisp brown skin on the outside let's get started this Let's just see how it gets done. First thing we need to do with our whole chicken here, which there she is, beautiful. Cut off some of the excess stuff that we don't really need. None of this is gonna help you at all. So just get a sharp knife, cut it off, put it to the side. Once you've cut off the excess around here at the cavity, you're gonna wanna take your hand and get under the skin, but try not to rip it. So just try to pull that skin away from the breast just like this, kind of get all the way up there and pull that skin apart. This is gonna be important for when we're getting that butter together and we're gonna mix around two flavors with that butter and we're gonna be putting it inside the cavity of the skin just like this, putting it some inside the cavity as well so we get the back part of the chicken as well. And you wanna see if you can separate it from the thigh as well, just like that. So we're getting it. See, I get my whole hand in there. We can pull it back. Cut a little piece of this right here. And we'll be able to pull this back and get under there. I'll get the other side as well. Well, I ripped it a little bit there. That's okay. It's not all perfect when you do barbecue, but you make it your own. So, let's get that compound butter ready and let's put it inside this chicken. Get yourself a microwave safe dish and you're gonna take your butter here. We're using Country Crock Original and you're just gonna get a pretty good heaping spoonful, like so, and put it in there like that. And add a little more if you want. Done. Now, chicken is great with sweet flavors. We're gonna be getting some sweet and some spicy in here. So we have some lemon pepper wing dust that we're going to mix in just a little bit right here on top. That's probably good because that citrus flavor from the lemon is really gonna come out. And then we have some honey barbecue wing dust and we're gonna add just a little bit less of that, like so. And now we're gonna pop this in the hot box in the microwave for about 30 seconds and we're gonna get that nice and uh, liquidy so that we can put it on the chicken. Just like that, liquidy butter. Let's come over here and we're gonna mix it together with the same spoon we used and just get all of those beautiful flavors together. You can see the butter kind of getting a little bit darker because it has some of that honey barbecue. You can see some of the lemon zest in there as well. This is going to be epic and this is going to really really gives some great flavor when it comes to the chicken. Getting these flavors to marry together is really important, especially when you're cooking a chicken rotisserie style. So I think my original plan with the hot butter was to inject it in, but we're not gonna do that. Here's how we're gonna do it. Take the butter and we're gonna pour it in, like so. Get in all of those cavities there, just like that. And then I'm gonna take my hand and massage that in to each of the areas here so that we get good covering because this is gonna give us some good flavor, but it's gonna give us some good color as well. And we wanna make sure that we get some inside the cavity, so we're just gonna pour a little in there, like that. I'm gonna mix it around in there. I'm doing weird things to a chicken. 
And then I'm gonna take my hand and kind of just cover the outside of this with that butter compound as well. These flavors will really come out, especially with the Dirty Bird Hot and the Beer Can Chicken from Cosmo Q. This is going to help this adhere and stick to it. And we're just gonna keep going in until we're out of the butter compound here. First, we're gonna layer it with our Beer Can Chicken. And we wanna do this kinda lightly on top because we're going to cover it with that Dirty Bird Hot. Get it under the skin as well, in the cavity. Just kind of pour that everywhere and get a light coating on it. You can see it's helping stick to the chicken from that butter compound we just added first. Just like so. That's a good light coating. Next, Dirty Bird Hot. And this, a lot more liberal. Now we're gonna be cooking this on the rotisserie on the Masterbelt 1050 for uh, at 350 degrees until we get one, a good mahogany color, but two, 165 internally, both in the breast and in the thigh. If it's cooked in one, sometimes it doesn't cook in the other and it's not gonna give you, uh, you're gonna get some raw chicken in there. We definitely don't want raw chicken, especially when you're serving people. And with me, I'm probably gonna use this chicken and make some uh, delicious, uh, chicken uh, salad maybe a little bit later so but of course we'll do the bite test and everything else see how it goes and just like so don't be shy with it get that bird nice and coated just like that now our last step before we put it on the spit and head it into the smoker is if you put this on the rotisserie now, this is gonna be flopping all around. You're gonna get an uneven cook. We don't want that. So we're gonna take some butcher twine here and we are going to truss up this chicken. First thing we're gonna do is get these legs nice and tight. Oh, forgive me, I haven't trussed up a chicken in a while. So we're gonna wrap it around twice. Tie that down. I'm gonna double knot that. Next, we're gonna flip the bird over. And we're gonna tie the wings down, just like this. Get some nice loops in there. Tie those wings down so they're not flapping either. Get it nice and tight on the inside. Again, double knot it. Take it and cut. And that is what a healthy trust bird should look like nice and tight, compact, just like that. It's gonna cook nice and evenly. Now we're gonna take our spit, and I already went and found the middle part by sticking it into the grill like this and putting it on here. This truss should come through the cavity, no problem. Sit down on the turkey like, ooh, turkey. Sit down on the chicken like that. Next, get your second fork, push that in, tighten it down right here. Give it a little shake. You can see that's not going anywhere. Spin it. All right, let's head out to that grill and let's smoke this up. Should take maybe 30 minutes to an hour. If you have the master belt, whether you have an 850 or a 1050, you do have to do a little bit of a adjustment when you're adding the rotisserie attachment to it. There's instructions that come with it here. We did that already. You're gonna slide this into place right there. Let it sit right there. Now I have some of this clear, this butter that we use. I'm gonna pour a little bit on top there, just like that. You can hear it sizzling. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna come over here. I'm going to flip on the rotisserie just like that. And I said I closed it, but let's open that again. You can see it's spinning. We have a nice even consistency. We got a nice full hopper here, full of the big block charcoal from Kamado Joe. We're gonna let this cook and we're gonna just let it rotate. We'll check on it probably about 30 minutes or so and check the temperature then, see how it looks. Should take maybe right around an hour to get that nice, beautiful caramelization color, the mahogany color we're looking for. Let's just let it ride. We'll see you back in just a little bit. We've been sitting here about 30 minutes while it's been on the spit, so let's take a look at it real quick. Oh yeah, we have some beautiful color here. 
we threw some more uh, of our rubs on and we put our butter that we just had just a little bit left over so we're just gonna baste it a little bit like that and we're gonna let that go over it it's probably got about another 20 minutes left on there Usually at 350, it's gonna take about an hour on a rotisserie, but I can tell you I have checked the temperature. We're sitting at about 88 in the breast and about 85 in the thigh. So it is getting a nice, even cook on this Mash Belt 1050 gravity smoker here. We'll check back in just a few minutes and see how it looks. It's been just over an hour, about an hour and 15 minutes or so. Running at 350, we got the KJ Big Block running in the hopper. Let's check this thing out and see how it looks. You got the smoke coming out. Get a close up of how good this looks. That is a sexy looking bird. We got beautiful color. We got the flavor on there, butter on. Now, I'm gonna stop this so that we can check the temperature. In the breast, we're going at 165, we're good. In the thigh, over 165, 171. Perfect temperatures for this. So, we're going to cut off our grill. Next, make sure you take a heat resistant glove. We're gonna take this off the spit, just like this, and we're gonna bring it inside. So here we are. You can see all the juices already flowing out of it right here, dripping on the cutting board. But look at this beautiful bird. It's gonna have lots of flavor, lots of color. And we're gonna get this bird off real quick. Off the spit. We're gonna. Oh, I'm gonna just peel this back. There we go. Perfectly cooked rotisserie chicken. And now we're just gonna cut right into it, just straight from here. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. Perfectly cooked all the way through. We'll cut down a little more. And look, we can see inside here. All that juice flowing in. You can see how greasy my hands are here. Lots of flavor, lots of moisture. Perfectly cooked all the way through. And this is gonna be the rock star because what I'm gonna do with this, probably make some chicken salad, but of course, for my fans waiting at home, the bike test with of course some skin on there. Dip it in the juices. <laughs> Try that again. Man, that's good. Nice and moist. We've got a lot of flavor from the butter compound that we made. So I can taste some of that citrus flavor from the lemon pepper. I can definitely taste some of that honey, the sweetness from the honey barbecue. The beer can chicken was just a light coating, but it does have a little bit of kick on the back end from that um, Dirty Bird Hot from Cosmo Q as well. Mmm. That's good chicken. So, I'm gonna break this bird down. I'm gonna make this into some uh, chicken salad. And that's how you do a rotisserie bird on the Master Belt Gravity. And that's how you do a rotisserie bird. Really simple, really easy on the Master Belt Gravity Series 1050. Flavor that thing up with Cosmo Q. My name is Mark Ashby of Grill Mark Co. If you like this video, share it. Subscribe to the channel down below. Write a comment in there how you'd like to see what you'd like to see next. Make sure you eat well. You do well. We'll see you next time. Mm.